my body, I'm going to move my chest in the direction of the direction of my back, and going deeper with my left arm. I want to go deeper, and as I go deeper, I go with my shoulder up under his chin, and go with my four fingers under his arm. I'm going to pull to keep my, my, short, my shoulder under his chin. Now, for him, he's in a very bad position to stay. Now look, I'm going to keep my head down, and I'm going to open his collar, right here. <coughs> I'm going to press under his arm, and go as deep as I can, right here. Now, for putting my knee on the belly, I just go with my right hand on his belt, and keep my elbow close. You don't let the option to him to move his elbow close, his, uh, his knees close. So I'm going to keep my elbow close. I'm going to sit down like as the surface. You know, when the surface is going to take the, uh, the hole, I'm going to move my, my knee on his belly first. Now, how to have a good pressure for him? I like to, don't follow the line of his belt, like here, but I'm going to move my knee in the middle of his chest. So look, from here, I'm going to turn, I'm going to sit right here. So I'm in this kind of position, I just have to keep my left leg knee up, and now I make opposite movements. I'm going to pull with my left hand, I'm going to push up right here. But look at my base, I'm right here. Uh, I sit over my leg, and my foot has to be off the neck. So I'm here. From here I have different possibilities. Then we can start with that short. Okay, so as I have my left control on his uh, uh, collar, I'm going deeper here. Look, palm up of my right hand is my strongest one. So I'm going deeper and I'm going to pass right here. My goal, look my shoulder. I'm not here. This part of my wrist has to take the form of his neck. So if I'm here, there's still space between my, my wrist and his neck. I don't want that. I, if I keep my palm up like that and go through with my shoulder, it will be dif difficult for him okay, to, to defend. Right here. And I like always to keep the pressure on my knee, of course, but also with my elbow. I'm going to pull my elbow. Okay? The, the gun at the bottom will try to escape, but to push, I'm going here on his elbow. Just a pull, 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 pull. Put my, my partner on his side and put my chest over his elbow up, right here. Keep my hand on the mat, it's like making a sprawl now. I have to sprawl, keep my pressure of my chest down, and pull with my right hand, ah, in progression. So, moving down, and pull, with a good base of my hand. So, one more time. Whenever you guys are on, on side control, don't keep your hips down, don't hips up, don't do that. Okay, here you have no good control, you have to be down with your hips, right here. Now, uh, move your body in the direction of the legs, stretch your arm, keep your ready, your, your, your shoulder closed, going under, four fingers under his arm, pull with your elbow closed, with your shoulder closed. You don't want that you're the person on the bottom look in your direction. So uh, keep the pressure forward, head down, open, and pass. When I pass, go in here. Elbow close from my grip of my right hand, and I'm going with my knee on the belly, like surfers. Ah. First, I follow the line, and then up. I start to switch. Right here, I have to sit over my body, over my leg. Right here, I can't stay up too much here. I have to keep, keep this kind of angle. Now, uh, palm up, four fingers, going to make a deep grip. Okay, right here, look at my shoulder. I'm here, I, I don't stay here. I'm going here, and now I just move my, my elbow in the direction of his chest. I like making the bicep movements. Now it's going to push up, defend. I'm going to make it the normal trick, but uh, the guy is defending. So control, I'm going to turn him on his side, keep my chest over his elbow, now I can move my base. And now uh, just make a strong movement, uh, and just pull with your right arm. When I make a sprawl, it's not my body moving backward, but only my feet, only, only my legs. Like if someone take my feet and pull me back, okay? But your chest has to be on the head. If you move all your body, it's going to turn. So you have to keep a good base, a good uh, pressure of your chest. And it's like if someone is taking your feet and pull. Okay, so you have to scroll like that. Do you guys understand a bit one more time? One more time? <coughs> One, going deeper, pull. Open, when you pass the, 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 the collar, be sure to close first. Don't pass like that. 
You have to close and pass. Control. Control the bat. Keep your elbow close. One and move. Right here. With your foot off the mat. When you are here, look my my angle. I'm inclined. Palm up. Remember going deeper. And control with the palm up. Move your elbow now in the direction of the on the chest. It's going to push. Control. Look now. Move my partner on his on the, his side and the pressure now of my chest over his elbow. Good base and up. Scroll and pull. Do you guys understand a bit more time? Good. One, two, three.